Welcome back to Character Select, David Matt, Project Wingman, two months later. Two months? Yeah. Everything's still screwed up, electronically. Yeah. wonder what happened on the other side of the... End oh. 01, huh? END 01. Got no some respite. interesting airmail. Looks like we've got a mission lined up. Okay, so Galaxy's given One us some briefing. One of the first of the Independence Force assets which we were able to recover outright from the geothermal disaster were the partisan scout units. Woods people and rangers from our park services who were no Jeez, look at the territory that we lost. Jesus. When with natives from the dust the reds are new, the oranges are old. We had ample ability yeah. to scout out scattered Federation forces still recovering. Jesus. Facilities and bases that were built out of range of any notable geothermal hotspots had become rallying points for the Federation. And as our partisan scouts have observed, the largest one in this immediate region is at the historic Bright Fortress and Weather Facility. Tactically, in the early stages of the war, this installation was of marginal importance, often being used as a secondary base for damaged aircraft to land at and to bounce signals from the now disabled Solana Com facility. Yeah, I can't its imagine why it's done. The relative geothermal mm. safe zone, however, has made it a new rallying point for the surviving Federation forces in this area. On the ground intel has denoted that these forces are gearing up to renew the offensive in this area. And if they do, the Federation would have started the momentum first on reigniting this war. Jesus. Hitman team, you are to lead our surviving allied pilots on a tactical strike on this facility, denying the Federation the first move. Yeah, catch them off guard, because I think it, if... Huh? Business as usual? They fly out a letter and we're going back out. Better than sitting on concrete all day. What are you complaining about anyway? At least you're getting paid for it. Your planes are good. Munitions and fuel all set. Hitman team, it's your call to go up. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed the weather on that one, Matt. <laughs> Anomalous storm. <laughs> yeah. Gonna be some interesting stuff in the files, I think. I think so. Any of the Federation core states? Yeah, we saw that one. We read that one. Nothing. Oh. Um... Yeah, nothing nope, new there. Nothing new in that one. Prospero disaster. If left uncontrolled, a cascade reaction has the ability to ignite cordium without restraint. This particular uncontrolled reaction has been oft theorized to be the reason behind the calamity's destructive nature, and in the wake of the first deployment of cordium primed weaponry in Cascadia, been proven correct. Weaponized cordium, having reacted to the geothermal and cordium deposits beneath Prospero, has erupted and caused a region wide tectonic disaster, causing cordium to ignite and react with itself. And the effects of this range from disastrous geothermal storms to earthquakes on the scale only recorded in ancient history. Jesus. Oh. Frostroid Claric... Right, so that's the real names, but... Yeah. So Frostroid Claric Rask. A remnant of the Oceania War, Clara Rask was one of the mercenaries that came to Oceania to assist its war against the Federation. As the tide soured, however, she switched sides as a Federation mercenary hunter, and in the years since has provided her experience as a combat pilot to Icarus Armories in order to test new Federation airframes. So the Oceania War was the mercenaries against the Federation, right? Yeah. Can we determine that? Okay. Evelyn London. Formerly Major Evelyn London the Third. that's odd... Eve London's time in the Cascadian National Guard came to an end after she ordered a strike upon a pirate camp along Cascadia's eastern frontier within the Dustlands. Killing a Cascadian informant in the strike, she was dishonorably discharged after failing to stand down in the moments leading to the strike. Eve spent several years in a drunken stupor along the periphery before being offered another chance to fly by Sicario's offer, which, after detoxing, she took gladly, having to contend with a new life as a mercenary all the while. In the years since, Eve is a Braced purely her ability in combat flying, and yearns for the fight of her life. No one stops her. Peter Kennedy. The background of Peter Kennedy's existence as a fighter pilot is backed by expectation and the desire to subvert them. Impressed <laughs> by his fam political family to take up the trade of public service, opposed to his dreams of becoming an astronaut, he instead bartered a middle ground and was sent to the Federation Air Academy under the pretense of returning to serve Cascadia's International Guard. After several unsuccessful academic years in the Academy with little actual flight training, Peter fled to the periphery after being expelled and, after negotiating flight time in exchange for reduced pay, flew for several smaller air forces, accruing experience. Eventually coming into sortie with Sicario, Franken recognized the unusual pilot and offered him a better deal. More flight hours, more pay. Peter took it. 
In his current deployment in his homeland Cascadia, he's privately confided that he didn't feel the need to reach out to his family. They'll be okay, he said. Whether that was to himself or a genuine belief is unknown. Dominic Zaitsev. Native to the Federation capital, Dominic Zaitsev ran a variety radio show where numerous listeners would call in to, more often than not, clash with the fiery DJ. However, after his radio station was caught up in a gambling sting operation, Zaitsev fled, eventually for his own safety, uh, being acquired by Arnold Franken and pressed into service as an AWACS operator beneath Sicario. Some say his endgame in this new life is of his is to lead Sicario himself. However, the current arrangement of Sicario he finds personally very comfortable. Arnold Franken. Heir to an important mercenary bloodline, Franken has traveled the world and fought in wars hoping to create his own story. Sicario is his current and most successful try at establishing that legend. Sus assassin. How much want to bet this is Prez? Tech name President Prez for short. <laughs> Normally one Robin of Hitman's Club. crew chiefs, managing and repairing their aircraft after sortie. When charged, however, she serves as Hitman 1's WSO, and subsequently falls underneath the call sign as well. The only WSO of, sorry, Wizzo of Monarchs that is able to barely sustain his flying. <laughs> <laughs> she exists in Sicario as an outlier, both within and outside Hitman team's social circle. A kind woman, if not a little pioneering in her need for cash, she sustains the psych physiological damage of flying with Monarch for the sake of the money they make together. Evidence points towards a family which she sends this money back to in the Federation Corps. The only one that we don't have is Hitman, is Hitman one. 1. There's a reason that we call him that. Interesting. Yeah. reason they call him Monarch. Mm -hmm. And I have a feeling it's probably something to do with the Oceania... A uh, mercenary. Oh. oh. We're in a tunnel. Oh. Ooh. SU-37. That's the Terminator. Only 216,000 credits. Do we have a new... No. Okay. No. I'm still waiting for that F-22. Somebody tell me... Give me an F-22, please. It's not the sexiest plane, but I like it. Um, yeah. This is hitting a base, isn't it? So. Honestly, the FS-15 is still the best plane we got. Yeah. I like the fact that Prez is uh, both a crew chief and a, a Wizzo. That's an interesting... Yeah. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> I like it. One of the few safe places outside of the uh, New Storms area. So. And it wasn't finished. <laughs> That's and it cool. wasn't finished, no. Nope. <laughs> God, that, is a, that would be a bitch to land on, though. Fuck. They better not make me land on that. A Dreary Valley 1550. Oof. It's no <laughs> <respite>. Surprise! <laughs> Day 174 of the current contract. All units in. Can I love that. The bloke just saying, I survived that Hitman team once already. <laughs> what was the oh, what was the logistics team in Ace Combat that we kept running into? And you're like, oh no, not again. <laughs> gotcha. Hello. Oh, that was you. Cool. Thank yep. you. You haven't met me before, have you? <laughs> First time. <laughs> yep, he has. <laughs> He's met us before. <laughs> oh, you brought SIAs this time. I'm up onto a second target and get a second missile off. No, it's fine. Look at the amount of stuff on the ground. It's alright, don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Gotcha. Blame the Federation. Boom! Alright, 
right, sir. I need you to uh, fucking stop, please. Yeah, I need you to cease existing. So yeah, uh, Diplomat is the, um, the, uh, Diplomat's son, and, uh, Comic is the Disgraced Flight Leader. Comic is the Disgraced Flight, the Disgraced Flight Leader, yeah. Well, that didn't kill the railgun. Rude. That did. Jesus. Nobody did. Why are we even fighting here? It's a good question, sir. Why are you fighting in the middle of a I just uh, broke, my, I just broke the speed barrier going straight up. <laughs> <laughs> I love these planes. Wait, what? Interesting. I'm not sure what. Yeah. I, that's raising further questions about what the hell they're offering. Yeah. Our own country. <laughs> what the heck were they offered? It's a very good question. A little enclave over there. We'll get there. Missile is tracking. So is everything? Okay, it's loads of dishes built up on a wall. Okay. They're made of fucking adamantium, Jesus! Oof, he turned into a... A little bit of ash. Right, I think you're gonna have to go with these two sets of hills. Oh no, one set of hill. It's fine. I aimed up. <laughs> you you laugh, but I mean, just fucking wait. Oh, they're, they're building their base around whatever that was. Was that down there? Right. Did you guys shoot down my fucking missiles? Motherfuckers! Are they building that base around a downed airship? Or, oh no, it's... Oh no, it's just a building that's... Missile shot off! <sighs> Give me a moment here, gentlemen. Sense. They probably cost a million fucking million dollars. A million million dollars. A million billion zillion. Oh. <laughs> uh. All right. Oh. Super top. That's a lot shit. I got, I got greedy. I got you, you really did. greedy. All right, you, you let's try did. that again. That was good. <laughs> that was a really good fucking pass until I didn't pull up at the right moment. 
<laughs> God damn it. Uh. I guess they had two pilots up. Maybe they had something. They, they have no victims up. See, that guy's smart. Whoop. He really wants to get you that railgun, doesn't he? <laughs> He's not gonna try. It's a Masam. Tip the hat, Masam. <laughs> Goodbye, Battle Cruiser. Yeah. Not here to take it, just here to trash it. Everything on it. Sir, I need you to fucking knock that shit off, Cease thank doing you. This, please. Ooh, targets, targets everywhere. <laughs> I love the help. Screw them, they're the ones in danger now. Oh, oh, oh dear. No, 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 it's... He said, uh, we need to hold this base or else the, uh... Returning planes won't have anywhere to land, and he's like, "Screw them! We have we're oh. in trouble." <laughs> Why are we even fighting here? Because your commanders are idiots. And because you blew up an entire fucking continental shelf. They really are like a battleship. They keep missing. <laughs> <laughs> missing everything except large targets. Which, I mean, that tracks. Nope. Yeah, I hit a fucking radar. Yeah. 
dish was in the way. Wall. Wall. Right now. Wall. One second. Would, would you fucking bow down? down? Ground. Careful, the ground is in that direction, Dave. You might crash into it. <laughs> All right, all done. Apart from that guy. Into the fight. Said the orc. Pull up. Pull up. <laughs> This is where bombs would actually be really helpful. Yeah. You have got M likes at least. Okay. <laughs> it's a super Taurus. Man, Ford is really coming out with some good cars this year. <laughs> Very large in the future, but then again, that might be the average size of the American uh, American household car. I would Enough say how dare you, but I also more. agree. So I know <laughs> <laughs> your lag should be off to cool down now. My lag. My lag. Somebody on there had a really bad day. Alright, target is now vulnerable. They're gonna be fine, they've already knocked out all the weapons. No! <laughs> I have been consumed by conflagration. I mean, when you think about it, in theory, a land battleship like this, not necessarily a bad idea. But the problem is, as with anything on the ground, uh, it falls prey to the two rules of artillery. Which is, if you can see it, you can hit it. And if you can hit yep. it, you can kill it. Yep. <laughs> and when it's that big, it's hard to miss. Yeah. Like, maybe if you had some kind of stealth capability, but even then... I'm having flashbacks of the stealth ship from uh, James Bond. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, that's, that's brilliant, until you get that one hole in it. And suddenly, hmm, why do I detect one random radar contact? Uh-oh. And suddenly, hmm, not enough, well, like, like they say in that James Bond film, not enough for a missile lock, but, you know... Come to bang around guns. Yeah. <laughs> is that enough for is it enough for a missile lock? No. Oh, time to do it the old fashioned way. <laughs> Load. Straight up. <laughs> Let's not do a Dave. <laughs> I saw a 20 M likes left. This guy's fucked. It's probably enough to get it vulnerable. Oh yeah, plenty. Goodbye. Well then. Somebody's gonna have to clean that mess up. Defense is pacified. All Federation units are either no factor or destroyed. Him and team remain on station for one last sweep and then RTB. <laughs> Whatever, just come back to the highway. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why he was a radio DJ. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love that he was a radio DJ. There's something, there's something that's so fitting about that. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh no. Yeah, watch the side rails. Yeah, watch the side rails. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> right lane, I would say. No, the right oh. lane has a fucking median. I took off from the left, I'm going to land on the left. I thought you took off from... Yeah, you took off from the left, and you're going to land on the right now. Probably fine. <laughs> hmm, should I be looking up at the lampposts? 
Fifteen. I ended it. <laughs> Everything's you fine. Should, you should not have gotten away with that. <laughs> it's totally fine. <laughs> Is when the engineer walk, comes out like, "What have you done to the suspension?" <laughs> no, no. Prez is just gonna climb out and be like, "Fuck, monarch!" <laughs> I'm going to kill you for this. <laughs> the operation was a success. Federation forces in this area have been scattered and rendered no factor. If not the elements, then our secondary forces, when they sweep through, will deal with any who remain. In parallel okay. with this mission, several other organized IF forces launched similar attacks on unprepared Federation units. With this kickoff, we can chase the Federation back into Presidia, and hopefully off of Cascadia forever. The Federation is disorganized, on the retreat. I can't imagine why. They know what we've been through, and unlike them, we will not make their mistakes. We're not gonna blow up the entire Atlantic. countryside? Stand by. <laughs> All right, well, next time on Character Select, Dave and Matt will be back for more aerial murder. But thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you like it. Hey, Matt! Dave! It's so appropriate that we blew up, an, or we had an entire countryside blow up, and we're retaliating by blowing up things. Yep. Makes sense to me. Is this going to end with us firing a fucking cordium nuke at the Federation, Homeland? I hope so. I hope not. <laughs>